Hello and welcome to the learning session of www.learnsolaris11.com. In this session, we are going to learn how to install Oracle Solaris 11 operating system on uh, uh, Oracle VMBox virtual machine. Uh, Oracle VMBox Manager is a software that is available free of cost from Oracle.com, and uh, in this tutorial. We are going to see how to install it on top of uh, a Windows operating system and inside that how we are going to boot a live image of Solaris 11 which is again downloaded from Oracle.com side. Um, it's available free of cost and uh, uh, after that we will see how to install it on uh, uh, VM box manager as a virtual machine. So let's get started. As you can see on your screen, I have started the virtual box. And in virtual box, I'll press the button new to create a new virtual machine. So let's get started. I'm, I'm going to press that. Yep, so when I click new, it gives me three fields, the name, type, and the version type. Uh, this software is kind of a little smart, intelligent. So when you put Sol 11, for example, it understands you are going to install Solaris 11. It automatically selects Solaris operating system and Solaris 11, the latest version number. So as you can see there are other options as well if you wanted to install something else some other version older version Solaris 10 then uh, you can do that as well but for this tutorial we are going to install Solaris 11 let's press next so uh, there is in this screen you will see there is a minimum requirement of the memory size and uh, that's selected by default you can grow beyond that but you cannot come uh, you cannot uh, make it smaller than that. Now in the next screen is for hard drive size. The default is 16 GB and that is a uh, recommended size. So we will stick to recommended value and um, um, I will create it uh, as a virtual hard drive on my machine. So <laughs> let's press next. Now in next hard drive type you'll see the VDI that we have selected and uh, we'll select it as fixed size the dynamically allocated is default value but we are not going to use dynamically allocated because it's a little slow in the runtime as compared to fixed size and 16 GB what I have selected here is not a big deal for the size of my hard disk I have a, a terabyte of hard disk available so I'm going to let it be and uh, this screen is for file location where it says uh, where do you want to create that hard drive so once you press create uh, it's going to create it now the video is edited so you can see it quickly uh, although it didn't happen that quickly you will still see it happening quickly though so now the uh, machine is ready and or say the template is ready and in this template you can see uh, all the all the settings and parameters you still have freedom to change some of the val values like uh, the number of cores and uh, the amount of memory you can you can uh, still if you want you can change those values here so this is the page uh, of summary and then we will go to if we just click settings it will give the option where you can actually change some of the values So as you can see there are several tabs in that general system display storage so that is the location of uh, snapshot this tells me that okay this is the place where it's going to store the snapshots and again here you can change the values if you want um, now you you can increase 
the system memory if you want but I'm going to leave it as it is now let's make uh, please ensure that enable IO epic is enabled and uh, enable absolute is enabled again on this screen we can change the CPU size CPU number of CPU sorry number of CPUs and I'm, I'm going to leave it as one CPU because this is just for a tutorial purpose but if you want it to be used for some intensive application work then you may want to have more CPUs in that so these two are uh, to enable uh, VT the virtual uh, technology and uh, this virtual threading will uh, um, be enabled here now this is important coming to storage you see the second one where it says empty okay that's where we are going to uh, mount the Solaris 11 live ISO media and it's uh, actually an ISO file which is uh, downloaded in advance so I'm going to if you have SSD you can check that box I'm going to mount the live ISO image of Solaris 11 at this place so let's mount that uh, by just selecting the CD icon and then choose the file from your disk and then uh, you choose the file it mounts there just press OK and you'll be all done so let's review it quickly once more and then we're good to go so now you all set to start the virtual machine let's start it okay so what this is going to do is it's not going to actually install it on your virtual hard disk rather it's just going to boot the mounted live media and once you have booted off the live media you can then install the operating system on the disk on the virtual disk again uh, just as a reminder you need to have a little more patience uh, because uh, in this case the video is edited and uh, a lot of uh, details have been skipped in order to make it short but in reality you will see the time it takes to uh, progress is more than what you see here all right so let's I'm going to select the default value which is US English then I'm going to select the default language as number three English the default host name is Solaris I'm good with that if you want to change it you can change it while installation this is just a again as a reminder this is just a boot image which is booting up it's not an installation all right here we go so this is again this is not an installation this is just a boot image and as you can see on the desktop uh, there is an option to install Oracle Solaris so we are going to click that uh, after a while um, let's just see the sudo and ID or, or you want to run some commands you can run that here And it zero is the command to shut it down if you want to shut it down from operating system and this is how it shuts down you can uh, also power it off by right clicking on the 
VM name from VM box manager. All right, so I'm going to boot it back and then we will start the installation. So here am I am I'm, I'm, again. I booted it off and then we are installing the uh, operating system. So I just double click install Oracle Solaris, press next. And uh, I'm going to select use the whole disk because I know that uh, this disk 16 GB is a virtual disk which I created recently and there's no other data in that. So I'm going to destroy the data inside that. Uh, now this, uh, the time zone here, select the time zone you want to use. I'm in EST. So I'm going to select Eastern Time here. Here we go. We got the Eastern Time. Now let me select the time at 23 p.m. here. I'm going to select 23 p.m. Let me type it. That will be easy because I don't want to click multiple times. Now we got to create a username. Without a username, you cannot log in directly as root. So you have to have a username. and. Uh, uh, once you have a username and once uh, the installation is over so you can log in using that username I'm going to use Lauren Solaris 11 um, as a username and login name sorry as my real name and uh, login name is Sol 11 you can select the password whatever you like should be strong and recommended is eight characters long with uh, um, special characters and numbers in that. 